I'm still going to need about 10 or so minutes before I can order. Thanks. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Can y'all hear me okay? Yep, that's on. Hello, Kayla. Hello, Parker. Hello, Maya. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Hi, Maya. Hi, Bella. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Casey or Cassie? I'm going to say Casey. Hi, Melissa. Hi, everybody. Sound is good? Good. Hi, Fee and Michaela and Mary and Ryan and Katie and Chrissy and Jen. Hello. If you don't mind, I'm just going to prepare my coffee. Yes, I am in the airport. Thank you, Maya. Hi, Juan. Hi, Georgie. I got it right. Cassie, good. Ka Wait, no, Casey. Excuse me. Casey. That's what I said. Hi, Anna. Hi, everybody. Thank you. I appreciate it, Chrissy. I've got a full-blown mod squad here, though. Um, Wendy, what's up? Hi, Skylar. Hi, Mir. Hi, Salma. Is it lagging for anyone else, or is it just shells? It's saying good connection on my end. I am excited. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Selena File. Thank you, Mary. Hi, Taylor and RT. All right, it's fine for Bella. Yeah, Charles, maybe just leave and come back. Good morning, everybody. We're this is a, a rare airport meal stream. Hi, Kate. Yes, we are in the airport. We're at an airport restaurant. Oh, we're going to order some airport restaurant food. I won't say what airport I'm at, but I will say it starts with Sam and ends with Francisco. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be an expensive one, but, you know. Oh, that's, you know what I, say, what I mean when I say good, bad coffee? You know what I mean? Like, oh, hi, Ollie. Oh, sorry that your kids are sick. Hi, Mandy. Am I leaving? No, no, no. I'm just going on trip. I'll be back. Um, I'm going to New York City for a few days. It's good, bad coffee. I'm going to New York City just for a few days for fun. To meet, meet up with my family and hang out. And then I'll be back to San Francisco. Thank you, Flower. Good, bad coffee. It's like gas station coffee. Exactly. Hi, Crystal. Am I going live in New York City? You bet your tush I am. Oh, I love y'all. Y'all are the best. Uh, I'm excited for this one. I don't know. There's something kind of... So, look. It's no mistake that I am... A bit picky when it comes to food. I know. Big surprise. There's something about airport food that forces you to just like kind of accept the hand you're dealt, you're dealt in a way that's kind of comforting to me. You know what I mean? Like it can be good, but like the, it's not going to ever be that good. If you get good airport food, like like average, you're like, you're good, right? Okay. I'm going to read you the breakfast, or the menu here. This is apparently one of the better... The sound changed? Did it get worse? Um, hi. Sound is wacky. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Any better? Did it get better? Is it better now? You good? Much better? Okay, good. Let me know. Let me know if it uh, changes to something else, okay? Let me know if it changes back. Good. Um, okay. So, food. Diner coffee. Okay. We have a full breakfast, which has two eggs any style, breakfast potatoes, toast, bacon, or sausage. There's a breakfast sandwich, a smoked salmon plate, which has a toasted bagel, possible. Meat scramble, NorCal scramble, Texas scramble, breakfast wrap, and of course breakfast beverages if you're the kind of person that wants a mimosa at 10 a.m. They have starters, clam chowder, chicken wings, quesadillas, seasoned Pacific cod tacos, classic Caesar salad, organic mixed lettuces. Hi, everybody. There's sandwiches, burgers, and more that has a 
Thank you so much. And thank you for being patient with me. I'm still, still looking over the menu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, we've got a grilled fish sandwich with Pacific cod. We have a crispy chicken breast, spicy slaw, chipotle mayo, turkey club. Ooh, I do love a turkey slub, y'all. Slub. Turkey slub. I do love a turkey club. Burger, Beyond Burger, Fusilli Primavera. Okay. Chicken Cobb Salad. That sounds good. Southwest Chicken Salad. And then for dessert, they have a carrot cake, a gluten free chocolate cake, and ice cream. Turkey Slub. And the rest is just drinks. What do we think? Any. Any ideas? So the thing is, we, we got we kind of got a plan here not to. Um, I'm hungry, so I'm I'm willing to eat a few things, but we can't. Obviously, we cannot take leftovers. All right. Whenever we get here is what we have got. Um, I like the idea of a turkey club. Thank you, Lisa. I like the idea of the chicken cob salad as well. It's kind of hard to mess either of those up. But at the same time, I like the idea of like a scramble or the smoked salmon plate. You know, like, okay, turkey club. All right, we can do turkey club. Well, hold on, there's romaine club. Okay. Does clubs usually have guacamole on them? Am I, am I inventing that that's different? Is that normal? Is that normal? I feel like that's not normal. Like maybe avocado. I'm a little hesitant about the turkey club now that we know there's guacamole on it. That kind of makes it l less of a club in my mind. Not that I dislike guacamole. I just it's just not the vibe of the club that I want. The smoked salmon seems like a good move. I haven't had smoked salmon in a while. I hope the bagel would be okay. The bagel is like the question mark on that, right? Yeah, it's like an avocado chicken sandwich. Exactly, Maddie. That's and I don't. I'm not big on that. They also have a burger. We could. Do, I don't know. It's maybe too early for a burger. I think. Should we do the smoked salmon? I like her. Pancakes, bacon, and eggs. Well, there's no pancakes here. It seems. I would be down for a scramble. I'd be down for smoked salmon plate and a scramble, and we just go full diner diner mode, right? Do a meat scramble. Thank you, James. Hello from Alabama. Hi. Cali clubs, yeah. Nah, it's it's too early for a burger. It's only ten eleven my time. It's, it would need to be later. I just, I, ca I, I could do fries, I just couldn't do a burger. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Smoked salmon plate, easy. Texas scramble? Ooh. Bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, ham, served on a tortilla with breakfast potatoes drizzled with chipotle mayo. And we could also do a breakfast wrap, which is, egg it's like a breakfast burrito. Or we could just do like a meat scramble. Or even a breakfast sandwich. Eggs, bacon, cheese, mayo on a bun with potatoes. All right? Should we go should we do the burrito? There is guac on there, but I think guac is a little bit more accept like acceptable on a breakfast burrito. Yeah, bagged guacamole. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think anything is going to be that good with guacamole here. Which is why I'm tempted to go smoked salmon plate and some sort of scramble. Mushroom, spinach, green onions. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Yeah. 
or the meat scramble. I think the NorCal scramble sounds better. I'm so torn. No, I just don't high fart me. Yes, I am in the airport. And I'm being, oh, you know, what, what we could just do the two eggs any style with potatoes, toast, and bacon. That could be the thing plus the smoked salmon. Right? Burrito gang. Wow, well, there's guacamole. I just am hesitant about airport guacamole. You know? That's, it does seem safe. Do that. Smoked salmon. We'll do smoked salmon, Cat. Don't worry. So the question is, do we meat scramble or full breakfast? Because I'm getting bacon, ham, and sausage. But that's probably going to be too much salt. But then again, I'm going to get like basically the same thing. I do want breakfast potatoes, though. Full breakfast. All right, we'll, we'll do we'll do a poll, and I'll abide by it. I'll abide by it. Should we do a scramble? Smile, scram oh, wait, is there a text poll happening? Looks like there's already a text poll. Interact on the text poll. poll. And that one. Quick poll. Smile for, smile for scramble, frown for full breakfast. Smile for a scramble, frown for like the bacon, eggs, and toast. All right, we'll do the bacon eggs and toast. That'll be easy. And I'll do them over easy and assume that I'm going to get them over medium. That's my guess. Easy. All right, there we go. Easy. I aim. How's everybody doing? I'm hungry. I have not eaten anything today. I am at an airport, yes. Thank you, Vera. I'm glad this stream is comforting. Who's watching Nugget? Nugget has someone that is staying in our apartment uh, for the duration of my trip. That's great. I did not grow up in New York City, no. I grew up in Georgia, Florida-ish. Do I wear my hair down? Eh, usually not. I kind of like it up. Yeah, Nugget's taken care of, and he doesn't have to go anywhere new, which is nice. Words of motivation for today. I don't know. I don't really have any. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't have any words of motivation. Do you, like I, you think I have nice hands? Thank you. Too hot to wear hair done. Yes, I'm ready. Could I do a full breakfast with eggs? A uh, full breakfast with eggs over easy. Uh, bacon, please, and also a smoked salmon plate. Uh, sourdough. Sesame. Hmm. Sesame. Sesame, please. Yep. Thank you. And could I have a little bit more coffee when you have a chance? Thank you. Appreciate it. Or am I flying? Yeah, I'm going to New York City. Can only control the control. I like that. Yeah, I don't really have any affirmations on demand. Um, affirmations have never really spoken to me on like a. Maybe I just haven't tried hard enough. I don't know. Hi, Nace. Hi, everybody. Hi, JoJo. Am I staying with someone in New York? I'm meeting my family there. We're all, we have a hotel. Thank you. An entire hotel. Oh, lost my mic again? Really? Thank you. It's so weird. There we go. Let's try that again. I really don't know why it's messing up today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confess something to you, though. I'm going to confess something to you. I did drop my phone in the toilet about a week ago. Um, and that very much could be why my phone has been acting up lately. 
it's almost certainly why my phone has been acting up lately. Now, I'm going to tell you, I dropped it in the toilet. I fished it out within a second. It was like barely. I mean, yes, it was submerged briefly, uh, but not so submerged. I, I feel like, you know how they advertise that iPhones are like semi-waterproof these days? I feel like being submerged for half a second is reasonably, that, that, that's like what they advertise, right? Like you can't go diving with this thing, but you can drop it in the toilet for a half second and be mostly okay. Also, the new iPhones are about to come out, so it's not that big of a deal. Yes, I do have an, I do have an iPhone. I'm going to um, record video underwater. Do you not have like a special case or anything? Phone in the mop bucket? Yeah. I'm going to get the 15 when it comes out. Stir my coffee? Okay. Excuse me. Phone and rice? Yeah, I should have. But I needed to stream right then and there afterwards, so I didn't. Sorry. How long is the flight? Six hours. Six hours. It starts boarding in about an hour, but um, yeah, I'll probably, I probably won't get on for like an hour 20, is my guess. I have actually one of the nicer seats I've had. It's not first class, but it is um, like the, it's right behind first class. So my legs have unlimited, like, I can kind of like go like, the whole story. What am I listening to nowadays? I listened to the, to like Disney theme park music on the way here. Yes, priority seating. I don't know if I, pri I might have priority seating. I'm not sure. I might. I'm not sure. Um, I am traveling on my own. Yes. All right, bye, Mandy. Do I ever listen to K-pop? Never. No. Well, I mean, I've heard K-pop before. Uh, I actually, when I was backstage with Becky Hill last month, last month, I guess, uh, I saw a K-pop group. A, 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 like A E S something Espa maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, Disney World theme park is great music. So much like space, yeah, exactly. And it's like it's like the it's it's not even that there's more leg space, there's unlimited leg space because there's um it's like there's no seats ahead of me before first class. You know what I'm saying? Like there's room there. So like there's not there's not seats close enough to me that my feet would ever touch it. Hi from England. Hello. Hi, Miss Wells. It's not even an exit row. I don't know how to explain it. You know how, like, sometimes there'll be just, like, a slightly, like, open area? There is an exit there, yeah, but, like, it's where all the bathrooms are, like, in the middle of the plane before first class. There's just some extra room, and that's where my seat is. Just left San Francisco. Nice. It's just a wall in front of you. Yeah, but the wall's far enough ahead that my feet couldn't reach it. Hey, Jen. So, anyways. Comfort plus, exactly. Comfort plus. That's where I'll be sitting. Yeah, we're going to New York City. It's the best spot. I know. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, uh, I, I could not afford first class, which was $1,100. But if I did, thank you, James, um, I would have um, had a bed. Medicine. Also, my flight was delayed by like three ish hours this morning. Like, I woke up, I set my alarm for 3 45 a.m. And because my flight was originally at like 9 30, and I needed to do some stuff before, uh, before I got to the airport. But then I woke up, drank coffee, did all my things, and then looked at my phone as like, oh, your flight's been delayed. So I was like, all right, well. Because we have time to stream in the airport. Flying to Salt Lake. You're terrified of flying. Ugh, that's tough. Am I bringing my dog now? Nuggets. Am I prepared for pricey restaurant costs? Lisa, I don't know if, I, I know you've seen many of our streams. I, I live in pricey restaurant costs. Pricey restaurants are my bread and butter. I am going to go see a show. I don't know what it's called. My parents booked it. It's like um, 
some sort of murder mystery. I'm not sure what it is or what the deal is, but going to New York City. Yeah, so we're at like a airport restaurant right now. Chinese food. Oh, I'm glad to hear that has now. Am I into musicals? Um, I used to be really into musicals, like really into musicals, but um, not so much anymore. I don't know. I don't know if it's like something changed in me or or what, but I don't know. Like I used to, like I was a theater kid growing up. I was in all sorts of shows all the time. But for some reason, at a certain point, I just kind of like lost interest. Around college, yeah. Yeah, New York City's fun. My family and friends are accepting, yes. Thought I'd be in New York by now. I thought so too, but my flight was delayed, so. How can't we hear the sound behind you? Magic. Yes, it's a six-hour flight, so I got plenty of time. I don't know what I'm going to do on the flight. Let's go find out. I have um, some podcasts downloaded. It would be nice to... Um, I know I should go ask them. For, I wonder if there are any extra beds in first class. I doubt they would do that. Just give me first class for free. There's no way. Right? I guess I could ask. What am I doing in New York City? Uh, I am hanging out with my family. I have not seen my family since like early 2022. I was supposed to see them last Thanksgiving, but um, I got COVID, unfortunately. Totally asked the agents make the upgrade calls. Yeah, I'll ask. I'll ask. I mean, geographically, my seat is very close to first class, so. I'm so excited for these eggs. You're from Coney Island? Cool. Connection. I have to bounce. Oh, you're good. You're good, Candice. Sometimes they have great discounts. I mean, it would have to be very, very discounted. Oh, nice. Looks like my mom got some hair cream for me. She just texted. The worst I can say is no. Yeah, I mean, y'all know I'm not afraid to ask about these kinds of things. Yeah, I'll... They say you want to do video on it? No. I haven't I have not considered that. They're like, hi, I'm an influencer. <laughs> I don't think they care about that. Um I've been in Honolulu this past week and I'm so sunburned. Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry, Canesta. Canista? Hi Angie. Bloggers that travel for free all over the world. That would be awesome. I would really love to do first class on a whim. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. Be excited about a great pizza in New York City. Yeah, no, I mean, we're definitely going to do that for sure. Um, I haven't had New York pizza in a long time. You going to be my server? <laughs> Is this my food? I think it might be. Maybe. I'm going to make space out of hopefulness. I see. He's, nope, not me. You know the feeling. Have I ever been to Maine? Uh, once for a wedding. Once. Do I like living in San Francisco? I love living in San Francisco. Do I like flying? I don't mind flying. I really don't. I used to be a little bit more anxious about it, but you kind of just... What helped me get better at flying was... At a certain point, I just thought to myself, look, I need to go to this place, wherever it is. And there's nothing, once I'm on the plane, there is nothing that I can do to stop something bad from happening, right? It's unlikely to happen, but there is there is nothing that I could do. Oh, well, thank you, Anne. So, so why worry, right? No, it's hotter over here than in San Francisco. Oh, I know. I packed accordingly. I'm going to New York City, Uriel. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask for the upgrade. Maybe, maybe, how about this? After this meal, we'll walk together to the terminal, and um, we'll see if we can get the upgrade. How about that? 
that'll be the um, the third act of the stream for the narrative of this stream. I did read about that passenger pickled egg. That was both hilarious, sad, and gross all at the same time in equal amounts. Hilarious, sad, and gross all at the same time. Uh, would I ever visit Vancouver? Sure. What's the difference between bi and pan? Um, bi means you're attracted to men and women. Uh, pan means you're attracted to people regardless of their gender. So it includes non-binary people, but it's also, I mean, there's definitely some overlap, but they're also very different. Does that make sense? You saw me at the airport. Nice. Are you still here? 95 today in New York City. I am not ready for that at all. It was like 65 in San Francisco today. <laughs> thank you. Li oh, thank you, Lily Bug. I spell it a little bit differently, though. I wouldn't even know how to book a flight. It's not that bad. You just Google and buy. Here's the food. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, okay. We got a lot of food. Good thing your girl is hungry. Because if she wasn't, this would be different. This wouldn't go, go as, as easily. All right. So you can see here, we got our... Thank you so much. Jeez. Should we go for the... Thank you. Should we go for the breakfast, the hot breakfast, or the cold breakfast first? What do you think? The, this one, the fry up first. Hot breakfast first. All right, we'll go hot first. So nothing like... It's kind of hard to mess this up. So I have high hopes here. Or I at least have, like, medium hopes. Woo! Looks like the eggs are... Now, if you recall, I said I'm going to order over easy and assume they're coming over medium. They did come over easy, which I appreciate. All right. I see Tabasco. This is a Tabasco restaurant. Looks like other tables have Cholula, though. I see one table has Cholula across from me, but there's someone sitting there. Excuse me. Could I have some Cholula, please? Thank you. Yeah, Cholula is way better. Way better. Um, this is jam. So I guess let's start with some toast. How about that? Hi, Julie. Start with some toast. Yeah, Tabasco is no good. I just don't like Tabasco. Thank you so much. Good news. We have a Cholula bottle as big as my head. Good news, everybody. <laughs> it's a big bottle. This is the industrial size Cholula. The we don't want to have to buy a million little bottle Cholula. It's half full, but that's okay. It's a restaurant bottle. I'm going to start with some toast. I'm going to butter this toast. Butter spreading decently well. Butter my, butter my toast. Let's put that there. Now, should I do like a sweet toast here? Maybe like a little, little jam. Should I also put other food on top of it? Are you good, B dog? That's toast. It's good. Toast with butter and jam is so good with eggs. Should we just put some eggs on top? Lots of eggs. Why not? Ooh. Why not? Maybe a little bit of bacon. Oh, 
Oh my God, I needed that. That's good. That's good. Right, let me put a little bit of yolk in there. I'm gonna put the breakfast potatoes on. Mm. What about your anxiety of plans instead of eating? Yeah, I guess that's, I always find it kind of strange. Oh my god, there's a man wearing like three hats. I am baffled. One, two, three hats on top of it. Oh, see, he just walked by. This guy, this guy. So many hats on. Did you see that? Kerrigold? No, it looks like Kerrigold, but it's not. It's, um, grassland butter. Right, Lolasaurus? I know, it's exciting to see the hateful comments disappear. All right, I'm going to make this a more safe... Well, I think I'm going to put... You know what? I'm going to put... Um, I'm not going to go as hard on the butter on this one. Breakfast all day. I know. I'm going to. Hmm. Okay. Here's what. Okay. Hmm. Idea. We're gonna start with the jelly. We're gonna try and make this like as as flavorful of a bite as possible. I'm gonna start with the jam. I'm gonna put a good amount of jam on here. Why am I traveling? I'm just going to New York City. Why? I I didn't answer your question, did I? Why am I going to New York City to be with my family? We're going to put an entire egg on top of there. We're going to put a whole layer of egg. I'm going to put some bacon and potatoes all on one. That's probably this bacon. Oh, okay. I'm just going to dip it in there. Let it soak. The bacon is too... Tenacious to be on the jam. Oh, thank you, Lori. Lori just sent twenty dollars. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. Are you there, Lori? I want to make sure I didn't miss anyone else. Lori contributed to the meal. Very sweet. Checking for mail. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it. There you are. I appreciate that, boy. How long am I going to be in New York City? Um, so Saturday. I leave Saturday. So we'll have a couple streams and, like, actual New York restaurants. All right. I'm going to put some potatoes. You know, potatoes. Boil them. Mash them. Stick them in a stew. Yeah, I'm in the airport on there. All right, we're going to take some hot sauce here. Thank you, uh, LaKellen? Is that how I, did I say your name right? Thank you, Smith Mac. Good morning, Dee. All right. You know what I realized is I haven't even considered ketchup. Lord of the Rings. I just like potatoes. Potatoes. You know, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. That's a lot. That's better. The Cholula makes it. You need that Cholula. And the ketchup, if we're being honest. Both. Very important to these bites. See, now we're at a point where I can just mix it all up. And y'all, we still have our bagels and lox. 
So get ready for that. What style of potato is it? It is a uh, breakfast potatoes, so like fried potatoes. Yeah, we got bagels and locks coming up next. Back waiting to get my cake cool. White Castle? I'm not going to go to White Castle when I'm in New York City. Ain't no way. I'm going to fancy, cool, unique restaurants. Home fries? Yeah. Home fries. I mean, I know they're called home fries. I just forgot. I was born on the East Coast. I haven't heard them referred to as home fries in so long. Go to Cosmos in New York. What kind of food does Cosmos have? Country potatoes, not home fries. Uh-oh. Born in Maryland. My brother lives in North Virginia. I will, Felice. Serendipity, please? What is serendipity? Home fries, best if loaded. Yeah, 100%. Should just call them delicious. I'm not originally from New York, no. Um, I am from Georgia. Serendipity the movie? I thought Aim was ref. Aim, are you referencing a restaurant though? Magnolia Bakery? That I'm open to. But I have a feeling it's going to be very busy. That's delicatessen. My parents were there. Yesterday or the day before? And I sent a picture. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, it'll probably depend on proximity to our hotel. And I don't know where I'm staying yet. I've not gotten that far in my head yet. Russian Tea Room? The movie Serendipity. I don't, I'm not familiar with the movie Serendipity. I'm with the, familiar with the movie Serenity. Frozen hot chocolate. Okay. Got a cats. Okay. I, I'm I'm open to cats. I'm open to cats. Oh yeah. Trust me. I'm not gonna say what my hotel is. At this point, it's I don't even know what it is. But once I do know, I am not. We don't need any mishaps happening. We don't need any, um, any trolls. Take a road trip to Philly? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a driver's license. I mean, even if I did, I'm only in New York for a few days. I'm sorry. I am in San Francisco. I live in San Francisco. But I am about to get on a plane to New York City. Shall we switch? Boom. How do I travel without a driver's license? You mean like, what do I show the airport employee? Is that what you mean? If that's the question, Um, I show them my ID card. California ID. Yeah, driver's licenses are not the only version of identification. Okay, we've got a toasted sesame bagel. The bagel actually looks pretty good. Um, we'll start with schmear. We must assemble. Licking my neck. You like, you like, does, does, okay, hold on. Does no one else do this? Do you not like lick your knife to make sure there's nothing left on it? <gasps> it's whipped cream cheese. That's good. Right? This, I mean, I can't, I cannot be. Also, this is not, as a Jewish person, this is not a Jewish amount of cream cheese. This is a non Jewish amount of cream cheese. I say this because. 
as someone who was born and raised Jewish in went to shul and temple and all that stuff, this is like third. And I'm and I'm already halfway through it. Like I'm yeah. We're gonna need more cream cheese. <laughs> We're going to need more cream cheese. This is closer. I would say this is like where... It's not quite the Jewish amount of cream cheese, but it is the lily amount of cream cheese is this. Especially because, like, these bagels are so thick. I feel like if we did a poll, non-knife flakers would win. I mean, do you want to do a poll, Liz? Do a poll. Who else licks the butter knife? When you're out, if you like need to, like if you're switching from one thing to another, do you lick the butter knife to get the things off of it? Not enough locks. That is also true, but unfortunately, more locks is definitely an extra charge. More cream cheese shouldn't be. All right, bye. Whoever said bye. Maybe a fork or spoon, but not a knife. I mean, why not a knife though? It's a butter knife. It's not sharp. It's blunt. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. There's a guy. He's like conversing with another table right now. A napkin? Or then you're wasting whatever's on the knife, right? Am I wrong? Okay, it's on. Keep me posted because I cannot see the poll. I'm assuming that it will be 50 50. That's my guess. That's my guess. Nope. He's really talking about what that table. He like keep. He keeps turning back. Oh. Sixty percent for no, really? <laughs> well, I, I have a one track mind. I cannot I cannot do anything else until I ask for more cream <laughs> cheese. There's nothing else. There's nothing else that can like process through my brain. 60 30 60 30 well what's is there a third option for the other 10 percent or did you mean 40 excuse me all right i waved to someone someone's coming i can't i i, I can't look here's another thing you tell me you tell me if i'm crazy here could i have some more cream cheese please thank you very much um could you, if you were in my position right now, assemble this half? Or would you need to do cream cheese, cream cheese, lots, lots, cucumbers, cucumbers on like, because then we have like a very unbalanced building process, right? Assemble the half. No, no, I, I need to, I need to have that, all of the ingredients before I can assemble anything. Thank you, Rach. See, Ollie has a see. Ollie knows what I'm talking about. Sixty-five, thirty-five for non-licking of the butter. Thank you, Jack. All I'm saying is, the cream cheese on one, cream cheese on the other, capers on one, capers on the other. Also, they gave me so many capers. You think they could non-licking? All I'm saying is, for those of you who voted non-licking, no licking of the butter knife. What are you doing with your life? What's the problem? What are you what what are you just wasting all of this like look, there is good egg yolk on this knife. I did get salmon. There's salmon right here. Using that. But then you're wasting what a never waste a schmear. Exactly. The good news is thirty five percent. What's the, give me the bad news though, Liz. <laughs> give me the bad news. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm finished. Thank you. Behold, a Jewish amount of cream cheese. Now we can go. Raised from a strict mother. Okay, well, I mean, you're old now. Older. Sorry, that came out wrong. I meant older. I said old. I apologize. <laughs> Now I even have extra cream cheese. Wow. Bagel seasoning. I wish I had bagel seasoning. 
everything bagel seasoning would be great. Now we have extra too. All right, I'm not using it all. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle the capers. We need good caper distribution. Also, there's too there's such thing as too many capers because salmon is already very salty, as are the capers. So you don't need too many. It's just for like a little bit of extra salt and flavor. That's this, my lovelies, is the perfect amount of capers. Anything less? Not enough. Anything more? It's too. Let's do the other half. What's a caper? It's like a little pickled. I don't think capers are ever not pickled or brined in some way. I don't, they're not used in any other context. Corner needs more. Okay, I'll put one more right there. They're basically like little little salty smush uh, things. I don't know. Google capers. I don't know how capers grow. Are they on trees? I would imagine that this smoked salmon is whatever the cheapest smoked salmon is. Um, do we want to do Yeah, smoked salmon next. Caper is like a mini olive. That's a good way of saying it. Security was easy. It was like 10 minutes. Salty pebbles. That's another good way of saying it. Like fruity pebbles, but with salt. Capers grow on a bush. It's not surprising. It's not surprising. Also, can you hear that Don't Stop Believing is playing right now? I feel like that's such an airport restaurant song. Don't stop okay, that's all the locks. Um, next up. So I have an issue with with tomatoes when it comes to when it comes to these kinds of things because normally the tomatoes are so big and thick and like it's too thick because what's going to happen is when I bite into it the tomato is going to like slip and slide and I don't have a fix for this onions first no 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 onions go on top onions go on top. It's not ripe enough. Well, that's that's an uh, agree, but also that's not something we can do about today. Um, we can't do anything. Although I think actually, maybe I do cucumbers because cucumbers will probably stay in place pretty well. Pretty well. Okay. Right, come on. Is anyone else a little bit upset by? The number of cucumbers we got. Am I the only one? Uh, these two right here. Am I the only one? Maybe I'm the only one. See, that's a good call page. Dicing tomatoes. Put the tomatoes into quarters to match the cucumbers. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Good news is they're not ripe enough to be too smushy. Let's do one of these. Yeah, that's a good call. Well done, Liz. This will hopefully alleviate. Yeah, right? I'm not the only one. Good. Thank you, Ashley. Switch a whole one. Oh, that's a good... Oh, user 700. That's, that's absolutely right. So now they're even. Now they're even. Now they're even. We got some smart people up in this chat, y'all. Hide the wonky cucumbers. Yeah, what what wonky cucumbers? We didn't ever have wonky cucumbers. What are you talking about? This is for all you who are typing the comment. I'm gonna cut, cut it into four. I'm gonna cut it. I'm not gonna put three on one and four on the other. Okay. I wouldn't do that to you. Next up, onions, and I did tear them up a little bit. Cream cheese to hold on. I'm good on the cream cheese right now. I think I, I know what you mean why I do that, but I'm glad everything. OCD mush forgot the lemon juice. You're suggesting that I'm done. I think I'm done. 
the tomatoes on tape to keep your hands from stinking of onion. Yeah, I think we're, we're past that at this point. The hands are going to smell like onion one way or another. I'll wash my hands before I get on my flight. All right. Also, what are we going to do? Munster cheese? Never had Munster cheese. I've had Munster cheese on what? What? What, Liz? <laughs> salt? No, I don't need extra salt. Pepper, though. Pepper. Oh, that's not a twist. That's a shake. If I sneeze. Squeeze a little lemon juice on top. Now here's the thing about this lemon, very seedy, very seedy lemon. We're gonna de-seed this lemon first. I'm not trying to have lemon seeds all over my bagel. Not today, Satan. Not today. Lily just doesn't break the rules. She looks directly. Now, are you saying that it's a rule that I now have to not lick my butter knife? Is this the new way that this goes? Do I ever plant the seeds? Yes, always. I'm responsible when I eat my lemons. Pro butter knife licking. Thank you, Carmen. Also, I lick my fingers. What are you going to do about it? Oh, lemon zest. Seeds. Okay, it's not the best. It like kind of gets in your nose. You know what I'm saying? All right, here it is. Should I just go for it? I mean, should we cut it in half? Probably not. Now, I put money on. There's going to be lipstick on this bagel after this bite. In the crevice where my bite happens, there will be lipstick. Exactly, my hands are sanitized. Oh wow, no, there's lipstick on that onion. Very good. It's fresh with all the veggies on top, just because there's so much of it. Bagel's not bad. I mean, look, this is the classic case of that more than the sum of its parts, because none of the things that you're seeing right here are particularly like high quality. It's not like a great bagel or great lox or great whatever, but we put so much love into this bagel, like all of this love. You can see it. See? There's a little bit of love right there. A little bit of love right there. You know what I'm saying? Made with love. LOL. Lots of love. The Jewish in you is dying? Why is that? I mean, look, it's not an award-winning bagel, but did you, <clears throat> as a Jew myself, for an airport bagel with locks, it could be worse. LOL, lots of locks. That too. Never had salmon on a bagel? Never had bagels and locks? Thank you, Phoebe. Lox is smoked salmon, yeah. Yes, I am trouble. The only thing I drink is coffee. I'm not going to drink coffee while I have big old in box in my mouth. I will take a sip soon.
Not all Jews don't eat bacon. Someone said, your Jews don't eat any bacon? Lots of Jews eat bacon. Why am I at the airport? Believe it or not, I did not come to the airport just to eat bagels and lots. However, now knowing that this is here, I might buy a ticket sometime just to come and eat this. Airport hangs. I don't know. I do love hanging out in the airport. There's something so peaceful about it. Everyone's on their way somewhere. I do not keep kosher, no. I never keep kosher in my life. Oh, thank you, Angela. Angela sent five dollars. That's very sweet of you. Thank you, Angela. Which spot is that? Um, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I don't think we need to say. I, I mean, just the fact I'm on at a SFO is enough. Do I like whitefish? Um, I prefer lox over whitefish. Whitefish, for anyone who doesn't know, is a similar, um, like, classic Jewish, on a, like, fish on a bagel thing. It's kind of like tuna salad, sort of. Burger's bagels is good. Hi, Kyle. Try, is it trout? What? I don't know. I like bagels and lox the best. Woo! Here, Stephanie, I saw, your, I saw your comment. I just, it's hard to respond to everyone, but this is how my tattoo, there's a sesame seed on my tattoo. No longer. There it is. The sesame seed was there to um, help the healing. Um, I don't keep kosher. I don't keep Shabbat. I don't really do anything religious, Jewish-wise. I went to Jewish summer camp for 13 years. I taught in the Jewish educational world. Oh, thank you, Julia. Julia sent $10. That's very sweet. Let me make sure we're saying thank you to everyone who sent a gift to help with this. Lori sent $20 earlier. Thank you, Lori, again. Angela sent $5. Thank you, Angela. And then Julia sent 10 Appreciate that. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate that. I'll make make it so much easier to be able to do this all the time. Love you. Okay. Thank you, Kate. We got we gotcha. Oh. Interesting. Because my flight was delayed, I get a complimentary meal voucher. How kind. Thank you, Archie. Mm. All right, now, here's another question. If you were me, would you eat all of the, the debris? Would you eat the debris? Would you eat this little cucumber? This little onion bit? I want to do a poll. I'm curious. I'm curious. Smile if you would eat the debris. Frown if you wouldn't. I'm glad that the majority of people agree. Because why? Why waste? Why waste anything? Uh oh! Another flight change. Say it ain't so. Y'all are going to like this. Y'all are going to love what just came through through on my phone. Because it means that our stream is much longer now. My flight 
I was supposed to leave at 9.35 a.m. It is currently 11.03. This morning I got an email, hey, uh, actually your flight's going to leave at noon. I said, okay. So like in theory, the flight should have been boarding starting pretty soon. It is now at 2 p.m., which means that if all goes to plan, my flight isn't leaving this airport for another three hours. Which means dessert? It was supposed to be I didn't miss any I didn't miss anything. It was supposed to be this morning at 9.30. It was supposed to have left an hour and a half ago. Early, early, early morning. They changed it to noon. Now it's 2 p.m. I don't know. I don't know what it is. The free upgrade? Well, no, they didn't upgrade me. They gave me a free meal. I'm taking the news well. Well, thank you. Two desserts? Oh, wow. Well, they have carrot cake, ice cream, and a gluten-free chocolate cake. I am not very optimistic that any of them will be good. Well, figure. I mean, look, we got plenty of places we could go around here. What de what airline? Delta. It is a horrible delay, but that just means we get to hang out for longer and eat more food. <laughs> Flying out in the end of September to Florida, I'm scared flights will be delayed. I mean, they might, but there's no good. No, no, don't worry about it because you can't do anything about it. Give Lily a voucher? Yes. Oh, wait. Did, okay, so wait. Did they say... Serving you on board. Okay. Okay, so wait, I got... Okay. We're sorry, we'd like to hang, help by providing complimentary meal vouchers. Now, is that on the plane? They gave me two meal vouchers? Okay. Is this on the plane... I guess we're going to find out. There are two for 15 each to get little trays of food on the plane. Now, because now they don't give you food on the plane anymore without, that's nice of them. I think with the amount you pay for a ticket, you should be getting free food, period. Yeah, we've got a delay till two. So we have more time now. Where am I flying to? New York City. We can look around the airport, see what's up. I did read about the um, unfortunate thing that happened on a Delta flight the other day. As long as that again, yeah. Well, yeah. Go shop. We'll go shop. We can go shop. We got plenty of time to shop now. We can do whatever we want. Meal voucher should be in the airport. Well, we'll we'll ask our um, our people servers if uh if yeah it's it's fine I, i'm more upset about that i'm getting in late as opposed to having to wait for long longer you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying what do you mean pigeon I actually do not know what you mean. I was delayed 16 hours in Dallas. They gave us a dry sandwich. Yeah. They don't care. <laughs> that, at the end of the day, airports really don't care about people. So you kind of just got to hope for the best. Get that voucher and let's go shopping. Well, hi, Alex. Um, well, let's see first if these vouchers can pay for um, food here. Because it's going to be more, we have, in theory, $30 of meal vouchers, which is going to put a pretty good dent in our meal here. Um, hi, Jordan. Am I frozen? Hello? Anyone there? No, I'm not frozen? It's good for you? Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Like three people all of a sudden said I was frozen. So maybe it's more of a TikTok thing. If I'm frozen for you, leave and come back. Although why? 
me saying that right now isn't going to help people if they're frozen. Where are we going for bagels one of the time? I don't know. I got bumped up the first class. I mean, okay, here's a question. Should we go? Should we? I don't know if y'all want to do that. It just seems kind of... Okay. You know I'm all about getting that upgrade. But also, I feel like if it's going to take an hour of like going back and forth and looking for the right person to talk to at a gate, and there's a chance it might not even happen, like, is that worth it? Is that worth it, though? To, to try and get upgraded on the, on the flight? I feel like that's a lot of emotional energy. Hi, Kelly Borden. I feel like it's not worth it. I got a fine seat. Would I love a first-class bed? Sure. But I doubt they would give it to me for free. I feel like we should just enjoy our time together. Go do some silly, stupid stuff in the airport, like buy things we don't need. Eat desserts. That kind of thing. Right? Right? Let's just go do... Let's just go do some silly stuff. The bed, it would be a bed, but like, I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not gonna, you swear Josh from Mythical Kitchen just went? Really? I love Josh from Mythical Kitchen. You know if he's here? Can anyone else see that person? I do love Mythical. Did we see that? For real? I eat this. Um, do I come across famous people? Not really. Which way did he go? Well, he's gone now. But I should stop in Boston. I mean, I would love to. At this point, who knows? <laughs> I love Mythical to my right. On your right. Yeah. I don't see Josh from Mythical Kitchen on my right, unfortunately. I'm sorry. There's a Josh a Good Mythical Morning. I thought it was only two. Well, Josh is one of their kit, their chefs on the left, actually. Ah, well, he's probably long gone by now. He's also Jewish. Please, I'd show you. I am sure you would, Alex. Um... I'd love to hang out with both you and your girlfriend. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they would let me go to Boston. Making him appear? Okay. Well, if y'all want to go comment on Josh's stuff, are you in the SFO airport and see if he says yes or DM him? He probably would not see it. He has a lot of followers. I don't know. 1111, make a wish. I wish that myth mythical chef Josh has a reason to come back this way and say hi to us. That's my wish. Oh, wait, am I allowed to say it outside? Out loud? Oh, we have the same surname, really? Cantina? Yes, I am Italian. Um, Alright, let's see if our meal vouchers work. Am I going home for Rosh Hashanah? No, I'm not that sure. Like, hi, holidays. We don't... My, my family is culturally Jewish, just not religiously Jewish, so... There's not really much of a... Jewish occasion that causes us to all come together. Usually we just try when we can. Hi, Lacey. And quite a few celebrities in Savannah, and most were rude. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. No vouchers will be for the plane, not the airport. Yeah, that, that's kind of what it seems. Like, why would they... S that seems unreasonable. Like, why... They would just say, have you buy things, right? Your meal vouchers. We're sorry for the delay. We'd like to help you to give complimentary meal vouchers to everyone in your reservation. Good for food and non-alcoholic beverages may not be accepted for onboard purchases. Okay, so onboard. I don't even know. What, like $30? What do you buy with $30 on a plane? I don't even know. Last time I flew in, meals had to be ordered pretty fly. Well, they gave me a voucher, so I sure hope there's something to spend it on. I don't tell you what. I want $30 or something. Water, a waddle, water, and a pair of headphones. Basically, a cup of coffee. Yeah, you know, coffee is fifteen dollars each. Drinks and snacks. Yeah, I know they have like those little boxes now, like 
it's like, oh, the Italian charcuterie box, and it's like a Lunchable, basically. It's basically Lunchables, airplane, airplane Lunchables. Yeah, they have meals on planes. Well, it's it's probably not hot meals. It's probably like candy box. Maybe you get like a like a shrimp waffle and stuff like that. I mean, I'll ask, but well, let's ask our guy. We'll ask our guy. Hi, I have a question. Delta sent me meal vouchers. Does that work here or just on? A... It works here. Oh, okay. Well, we'll re we'll redeem it here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. They work here. Look at that. Now, here's the thing. They gave me two of them. I'm only one person. I'm only one person. What's up, JD? Starbucks run? I mean, we're going to get coffee. You think we're not getting coffee before the end of this? Oh, we're getting more coffee. Oh, yeah, I'll use both at once. It's true. Two delays. Now, JD, I'm going to tell you something after I do this. Okay, so there's two of them. This is the first one. I'll do that so I can take a break. Okay. How much? It's 15 and then 15. Oh, um. Where is. Oh, oh. Uh, billing, no, that's the, the seat. The long one? Oh my. You just want to look at it or? Five, three, seven, here. Huh? Yeah, here, here. I'll just. Can you scan it? No, you can't scan it. Nine eight. It's nine. That's a nine eight. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, also you entered a few other things wrong. Here, do you want me to enter it? Okay, here, here. I can do it. Sorry, y'all. It is like such a long code. It's like literally a credit card, it's just so weird. It's like a little mini credit card. Oh. Okay. Okay, we got one more to do. Wow, that's so strange. Thank you. Sorry about this. All right. Yeah, I guess I'll just pay the remaining on card then. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Now, before anyone asks, of course, I tipped based on the entire check, not what was left over. Dessert? Don't worry. We're, we've got hours left. <laughs> we got plenty of time left. Does not seem like Josh from Mythical is traveling based off of the socials. Okay, that makes sense. It was $15 left off of a $40, $45 tab. I tip nine dollars, which is twenty percent of the whole forty-five. So we got thirty bucks off. Honestly, not bad. So, like, um, oh yeah, JD, let's talk about that. Um, first off, to answer your question, no, 
no, I'm not going to do that. But like, did you think I would? Did you think I would say yes? I, I just want to. I just want to try and put myself in your shoes. <laughs> uh, have I? Who's keeping Nugget? Um, Nugget is in very good hands. Nugget, there's a dog sitter that is coming to stay in my apartment. Um, so Nugget isn't going to, his schedule isn't interrupted at all. all right. Let's reapply lipstick. What do you say? Is this the one? Nope. Is this the one? Yeah. It's three colors of lipstick. There it is. Yeah, it will be nice for him. Oh, thank God, Summer. You no, know, isn't it the cutest mirror? It's like shaped like lips, and it's from a trans zone makeup company. So, yeah, it's like I could thank you, Bernie. I appreciate it. And you're what? I'm sorry. Can you tell I've had a couple cups of coffee? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. There we go. Oh yeah, we needed this. Where's Marianne Condon where you need it? When you need her to remind me to do this. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> you like the color? Me too. Thank you, Barry. Appreciate it. Honestly, we haven't given our our server enough love. Bernie is a sweetheart. Didn't care that we were streaming. Bernie was willing to let me sit at the four person table, even though no, even though we're at a two person table. But he was willing to let me sit there. No other employee was like even considering it. Bernie was like, "It's fine." This is Sephora number seven. I don't have a PO box. Sorry, Leah. But if you message me, maybe we can work something. I don't have a P.O. box because A, it's expensive, and B, if I did have a P.O. box, people would send me, like if someone's willing to call the restaurant I'm at to cause trouble, you know people are going to send bad things to that P.O. box. Like, just think about it. Yeah, we're going to have to... Do a little bit of cleanup work with a napkin. Actually, yeah, yesterday, but we're we're past that. We're past that. It's not. I'm not bringing it up to be a bummer. I'm just saying that's why I don't have a PO box specifically. That is why I do not do that anymore. Or, well, I never did. But it's certainly why I don't do it. Now. All right. What do we think? Close enough, right? Yes, I am very excited to see my family, and I know my family is excited to see me. I'm very close to them, um, but first time in New York? No, I've been to New York City before, so I love your recent... Yes! Oh, nice! Nice, Alex. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I, I majored in that. Basically, like, my most recent video about movies was what I did in college. Like, that kind of discussion and thinking is what I did. That's what I majored in, media and cultural studies. Are they aware of the delay? No. Um, actually, that's a good point. Can someone on Discord tag my mom and be like, hey, Lily wants you to know, the voice of Lily wants you to know that uh, her flight got delayed again. So she's landing at 10.30 p.m. Are they picking me up? No, I would just be. So, if someone could do that, let me know. Oh, I was traveling. 
I am, that is exactly, that is exactly what I do, what I do. Being visible so that other people feel safer to come out. I'm out here. We're out here doing what we're doing so that the world is safer for folks like Traveler. It is a six hour flight. I mean, think about it. San Francisco to New York City, it's a while. Can you text her on your watch? Oh yeah, thank you, Christina. Good point. Good point. Uh, go here. Hey y'all, my flight got delayed again. It should be landing at 10.30 p.m. now. Sad face. No, you're not going to do the sad face actually for me? There we go. Okay, you replace... You, uh, I'm just going to send it the way that it is. They got the information. <laughs> what it ended up looking like was everything was there, but then when I said sad face, it typed the word sad face, but then also allowed me to put a sad face. The message got through. Message. Away. Does my dad go places with me? Like traveling wise? He came to visit me like late last year, last fall. It didn't get delayed again. Um, but I just uh there is no layover. It's a it's a non stop. Make you want coffee? That's what I'm here for. Thank you, Ari. So between that and the text, they will definitely be Aware. Should we check my uh, my other text messages? See who's texting me. Just tell them to take off on time. And <laughs> my brother says, just tell them to take off on time. Instead, you're right. I'll tell them. Them. This is the kind of humor that happens between me and my brother. Oh, thank you, Shannon. I appreciate that. Non-stop a landing in Eastern time. Exactly. Yeah. So like, even though we're leaving at 2.30, six hours, which would bring us to what? Two plus six is 8.30, but it's three hours ahead. So 10.30. That's the Gabe stir. That's my brother. It was just at the SF airport. They do have a yoga room here. Should we go check out the yoga room? We should go check out the yoga room. Of course, we'll be quiet, and if there's anyone actually doing yoga in there, we'll give them their, their privacy, but you should go check out the yoga room. It's a very San Francisco thing to have a yoga room in the airport, right? Yes, my family is very supportive. Whoa, Felicity. Out of nowhere, Felicity. Thank you. It is so appreciated. It is so appreciated. Like... Felicity, you there? Espe like, especially after what happened yesterday, like, sometimes, even though I know all the hate comments are so stupid and bad and wrong and there's no, they don't hold any water at all, sometimes I open my phone and I'm like, and it's easy to forget that people like Felicity are out there enjoying and appreciating what I'm doing here enough to support me financially. Thank you, Wendt. Uh, Felicity said 50 bucks, and it means a lot. That, that one really, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, J9. <sighs> I love y'all so much. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I, you know, I do social media for a living. Um, you know, there's like a lot of little revenue streams, but, you know, between Felicity and a few other folks who really um, support me in a big, big way, and a lot of people support me, but, you know, when it gets to like $50, $100, 200 it, it starts to make that much more of a dent that, um, does your Patreon? No, 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 no. Patreon supports me as well, but um, you know, it's like a lot of be, being a content creator. The most stressful thing about it, as awesome as it is, there's a lot of different things that I do. Right? Um, I do streams. 
I love the streams. I do, uh, I make TikToks. I have a podcast. I do, spe- I do like speaking engagements. I do all sorts of stuff. So my rent is not coming from one employer. It's coming from a bunch of different places. And when people like Felicity give generous gifts like that, it, it is like such a relief and such a, an appreciated gesture. It's not, I mean, it's not a gesture suggests that it's not like, like it, like it is an actual tangible sec- financial security is what happens. So anyways, thank you. I'll make my day. I love y'all. Um, Patreon or TikTok. I mean, TikTok takes half of what you give. So if you give fifty dollars on TikTok, I get like not even twenty five. Probably get like twenty of that. Um, Cider does need to sponsor me. What was I? What did I do before being an influencer? Um, I was in tech. I did like business. I like did video game deals. That's about it. The audio today though isn't one hundred. Okay, what about this? Did it just get better? Did it just get better? Better now? Yeah, it's exactly, Stephanie. It was fine. It's worse now? Better now? Better now? Ollie says it's worse now. Here, let me let me change my microphone. Maybe that'll help. Change microphones. I do have two. Uno momento, please. This is my... I'm searching. The quality is... Okay, it decreased. Got it. Hold on. I care a lot about audio quality, as you can tell. You hear me just fine here. Let's try one more. How about now? Any different now? Any different now? Better now? Never failed on Steffi. It's better now? Okay, good. Great. Ollie? Better? Okay, good. Now I'm just like, where the heck is my microphone? Oh. It's embarrassing to be searching in front of a lot of people for a thing that is right in front of you. Since we ha- since we're here, we'll we'll try switching microphones. Let's let's give it a shot. All right, is this any better? Oh no, I'm giving myself grace. It's one of those moments where you just have to laugh, laugh at yourself in a good way. Okay, this is much better. Wow. Uh, Picks up a lot more. It must be that the microphone in this box is just bad. So I should probably fi- figure out a way to signify which microphone is the bad one. Maybe it's running low on battery? I don't know. Here, I'll just take a little sticker. <gasps> DJ Khaled. You know it's going to be a banger when you hear, We the best music. Oh, and Nicki Minaj. Wow. I didn't know they did a song. I wonder if the other one you got, it must be the sweaty one, Ollie. You're almost certainly correct about that. 
does my Jewish fan... What a... What an unfortunately phrased question. Um, major key alert. Y'all remember when, like, that was the reason everyone downloaded Snapchat? Because this guy who liked jet skis and was very silly. That was, like, the thing. Yeah, it must be... The other one must be the sweaty microphone. This must be the good... The not sweaty microphone. Um... I scream Aquarius? Thank you. I am an Aquarius. All right, hold on. Huh? Yes, that's the one exclamation point. Oh, thank you, Dad. Okay, he's at Walgreens. Sorry. Sorry, I'm on stream, so I'm texting you through my watch, but thank you for getting the charger and the lotion. I'm setting myself up so hard for trans folks to make a lotion in the basket joke. I'm going to make it so that you can't. My dad is so adorable. I agree. I, ca I can't tell you how happy it made me. So yesterday, here, here's a very cute story. My dad, who is hey Jesse, um, he's, he's a very unique guy. He's very, like, eccentric and excited about the world. He's a doctor. Um, he went on a mafia tour because that's just something... Uh, they're asking me which lotion. In the basket. I get it. Um, oh, I don't know. Advanced therapy. Advanced therapy in the squeeze tube. There we go. Um, anyways, he went on a mafia tour. And apparently he was the only one to sign a mafia. I don't know. Maybe like they go around New York City and they're like, this is where this gangster did their thing. And this is what this gangster is. Really? The microphone bad again? Um, anyways, he, apparently he was the only one on the tour. Just him and a tour guide. And this tour guide happened to be a drag king. Which meant that like in addition to being a tour guide, which means that they they got to talking about me. And then this drag king messaged me like, hey, I met your dad yesterday and he's so sweet. And I was like, oh, so nice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Microphone is fine. Good, good, good. Just background noise. Right. We're going to start walking in a, in a minute anyways. Like, I posted in the Discord, but I was I was trying to, like, communicate how happy that made me. Because it's like, oh, my God, my dad, like, had a nice afternoon with someone. And that's so happy. Makes me so happy because he worked really hard and he deserved it. Thank you, Ambrosia. So, anyways. All right. Where am I going? Uh, we are going to New York City. Um, New York City. Shall we walk around SFO? What a shirt that is. But daddy, I love him. Great shirt. Yes, exactly. Sid in the Pines. Peter from Portugal. Hello, Peter from Portugal. I am at the airport and we're going to walk around the airport. No, Nugget's not here. Nugget's got a dog sitter. Thank you, Twin Mama. I appreciate it. Okay. I think we have a couple things we need to do here. Number one, a dessert of some kind. Number two, I want to make at least one silly purchase. Okay? I don't care what it is. I want it to be silly. We're not going to buy two silly things, just one. And we're going to figure out what that thing is together. A hat? Mm, I can't wear a hat. My hair is always too high for a hat. Is there an app for Delta? I, I prefer to, to find things organically. Silly purchase ticket to Long Island? Well, I'm in SFO. Um, but if I were to try and take the train into New York City from JFK, I would need to take the Long Island Railroad. A puzzle? Possible. Maybe a silly magazine? You do a silly magazine. 
could be a selling magazine. All right, let's go. We're going to go over to one of those like buy, stores where you can buy candy, a shirt with the name of the airport, a neck pillow, a magazine, or like a Diet Coke. You know what I'm talking about? One of those places. Silly Magnet? I could do a Silly Magnet. So an egg. I don't have many magnets on my fridge. I don't know if I'd want to carry it around. I guess magnets aren't that hard to carry around. Thank you, Fiona. Should you get one of those color books that, yeah, I do. I have been known to do a little bit of coloring here and there. Um, let me do it on the plane. Airport hoodie? Interesting. All right. Now. Here's your responsibility, y'all. You need to make sure that I do not leave anything, okay? I have everything, I think. Phone, keys, wallet. Mainly, I have been known to leave everything I have because I forget, okay? So don't let me do that. One time I left my entire carry-on just sitting somewhere in the Atlanta airport, and I, it took me 20 minutes to, to realize 20 minutes. Thank you, everybody. We're good for now. We, we got everything in it, right? We got everything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, I'm going to go look one more time just because, just because I am so clumsy. I leave so many things. One more time, I'm going to look. Because I did search for something that wasn't even in my bag for like three minutes. Okay, there's nothing on the table other than excess cream cheese. Cholula and capers. Okay, we're good. Check the floor. Okay. Nope, nothing on the floor. We'll notify you if you're wandering from your bag. You'd think. Thank you, Bernie. Okay. Off we go. Thank you, Arctic Forager. All right, off we go. All right. We're going to go to the Silly Airport store. We didn't need any more cream cheese. We have a good amount of cream cheese. I ordered extra. You forget this. You forget this, Ollie. <laughs> I ordered extra. <laughs> All right. I see a California shirt. Now, the cool thing about California airports is that they have gay merchandise. Because you're in San Francisco, so yeah, you're going to want some gay stuff, right? I know, Ollie. We've got five-hour energies. Oh my gosh, y'all. Now this is something I've never seen before. Look at this. Fruity Pebbles Popcorn, Oreo Popcorn, M&M Minis Popcorn. Am I crazy? I've never seen this before. If I was gonna do any, I'd probably do the M&Ms. I am kind of blown away by that. Okay, we're gonna put that on our list. Put that on our list. I see Hostess Cakes. I see M&M Brownie Griddle. That could be good. Lots of books. Magazines. <gasps> Guy Fieri on Cigar Aficionado. Why does that not surprise me? Why does that not surprise me? Guitar World. Discovery, Ultimate Book of Sharks. He is canceled, I agree. I mean, it makes sense that he would be on Cigar, Cigar Aficionado the month after he's canceled. Out of Britney Spears, magazine, comic books, Aspen, the magazine? Okay, magazine all about Aspen. Country Living. Maxim Magazine is still a thing. Who knew? Rolling Stone. I, okay, confession. I had a subscription to Maxim Magazine when I was in high school. I did. I did have a subscription to Maxim Magazine. I can admit it here. This is a safe space. <laughs> oh. We've got Minnie Mouse headphones. A little fan, bunch of chargers. Yeah, exactly, J9, exactly. 
I like pretty ladies. What can I say? Pistachios. Seize candies. Haribo. Okay, here are the magnets. Now, we could get a pink L. It's only $9. I don't know if I want this on my... What do I think? Oh, L. It's pink. It's sparkly. It has a crown, and it says San Francisco. That's really not a bad purchase. Right? It's really not bad. Oop. I think of all the... I mean, I'll look at the other ones. I just don't need anything else on my... I have so many things on my keychain already. So that's my only hesitation. Oh, I see some pins. I see some gay keychains. Like this one. See? Gay merchandise. Book of Sharks. The Book of Sharks I'm, I'm interested in. I'm interested in the Book of Sharks. And keep in mind, we have plenty of time, so we can always like go somewhere else and then come back. You know what I'm saying? Put it on my bag, yeah. Ooh, there's stuffed animals, stuffed bears. There's stickers, a bunch of cups, sweaters, chocolates, San Francisco 49ers things, airport hoodie. Eh. I don't really want a hoodie. Hats, books, more keychains. Ooh, they have socks. That's fun. They've got pink socks. Considering it. I'm considering pink socks. All right, let's keep walking. Now, there was a store. Oh, sorry. Close to here. That I wanted to take a look, take a look at. I'm gonna tell you what it's called. Okay, you ready? What this store is called? It is called the Chocolate Market. The Chocolate Market. How does that sit with you? It's pretty good with me. The Chocolate Market. All right, let's see what we got here. Seize lollipops. Artisan chocolate. Ooh, they have chocolate bark. They have Star Wars gummies. They have Kinder Eggs. Well, Kinder Joy. Ghirardelli Squares. Milk. They have milk. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. Honestly, that's not, not terrible. They got some bark, chocolate bark, white chocolate strawberry bark. They have some truffles, but I just can't imagine that airport truffles are worth $2.99 per truffle, right? Am I crazy to say that they might be? High snacks. Well, well, like I said, we're going to get one dessert at least and one silly purchase. That is our goal here. One dessert, one silly purchase. Okay? C's is worth it. It's not C's, though. It was some other brand. So, you know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oreo pop. Yeah, that also looks... I would say M&M &M popcorn over Oreo popcorn. Okay, so market. We've got Kiehl's, which is like a soap store. I don't know why I would want to buy face lotion in the airport, though. They've got a clothing store. Let's go shopping. Why is my screen so dark? Get the fun peppermints? What are the fun peppermints? What does that even mean? Should we get a hat that says Los Angeles is my hood? Is there anyone even here? No. No one's even working here right now. How about this one? San Francisco is my hood. I don't know if I'm even allowed to wear a hat like that. I feel like that hat is vaguely racist. <laughs> Maybe not so vague. <gasps> oh, this is the definition of a stupid purchase. A hat that says, cool mom. Okay, come on. Come on. Bedazzled, cool mom. 
just saying. Definition of a silly purchase. Doesn't get much sillier than that. <laughs> it is vintage Y2K. Nugget would agree with that, exactly. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, they have bags with stupid phrases on them. Oh, yes. And for only $28, I could get... Okay, here, I'll just, I'll just aim the camera. I'm freezing. Is anyone else? Am I freezing for anyone else? Oh. Okay, hold on. Am I good now? Am I better now? Good now? Okay. The best thing in that store was the cool mom hat. All right. So we'll, we'll stick with that for now. All right. The cool mom hat honestly might be in the lead for the silly purchase of the day. Um, but first I think we should go and still frozen. Really? If it's still frozen, leave and come back. My vote is for the cool mom hat. I have a jewelry store. Not that maybe we'll, we'll go look for one. So far, it's the Book of Sharks versus the Cool Mom Hat. I agree. I would say that those are the two silly purchases in the lead right now. Buy it for Mama Tino. Ooh. But here's the thing. She would never wear the Cool Mom Hat. Ever. I, I would be the one to wear the Cool Mom Hat. You know? Exactly, walking with Nugget. Here's the only thing though. I just don't wear hats. <laughs> That's the only problem. Yeah, we're going to the yoga room really quick to check it check it out. I'm gonna be quiet here really quick, okay? You can also hear me when I whisper. Can you hear me while I whisper? We're gonna take a look at the yoga room. It's literally just a room, a small dark room with two people doing yoga in it. That's why I left immediately. Yeah, my hair is too high, exactly. That's the problem. Hair is too high. There was no idea. Yeah, the, the Wi-Fi did briefly cut out in the store, but um, we should be good now. Yeah. If you want, I can... And probably would be not wise to um, uh, go off Wi-Fi. Yeah, there was a yoga room, and there was two people in there doing yoga. I would have showed you, but one, it wasn't that interesting, and two, I'm not. <laughs> those two people were doing yoga, so I get their privacy. Huh. Oh, hey, mom. Mom, do you want a pink hat, a pink bejeweled hat that says "Cool Mom"? Would you wear that? <laughs> Would you wear that? You gotta be honest. Yes, my actual mother is in the chat now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I knew it, see? She wouldn't wear it. I told you she wouldn't wear it. There's no way she'd wear it. Yes, my mother is here. Yeah, she. she I know she wouldn't wear it. I, I'd have to redo my hair to be like going through the back half of it. I don't know. We'll see. Dad's here too. Hello, Dad. Thank you for grabbing the uh, lotion and the um, the charger for me. Very helpful. Your mom would never either. You like a ponytail out the back of the hat hole? Yeah. Maybe we'll do it. I don't know. We'll see. Mom to mom and dad to keep, catch you up. We um we have we're gonna get a dessert and a silly purchase. We have two purchases to make. One is a dessert and one is a silly purchase. And the cool hat, which is the mom hat, it's up there. We're just gonna go look. All right, I will, mom. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, there's more popcorn here. Just in case we missed it at the last one. I see some. Warrior, ooh, this is fun, look at this. Little uh, pride flag here. 
I don't know what pH, I guess that's the brand pH. Assuming born to love. Okay. Cool. Born to love. Some Warriors merchandise. That wins. Eh. I mean, the message is good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not really my style. We've got neck pillows. S'mores cashews. Mugs. Ooh. Kitchen towelettes. What's this? Coffee. Sourdough chips. Thank you, Natasha. Chargers. Oh, it's probably going to cut out. Am I good? Am I cutting out? Probably not. No. Okay, good. A silly phone case? I'm open to that. Now, the only thing is I'm about to get a much bigger phone than the one I have now. What the heck? Pink socks that say strong. Ooh, it's positive affirmation socks. It just says strong on it. Strong. Okay. We've got... Oh, my God. <laughs> American flag socks. So I'm going to show my patriotism. San Francisco bags, more affirmation socks. I kind of like the pink strong socks. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I did, Fiona. I'm going to get. I'm. I'm def. I mean, I'm mostly excited if they upgrade the, the um. The front-facing camera. That's the thing I'm most excited about. Now, here's an interesting thing. What if breath strip but melatonin? Melatonin but in a breath strip. What if breath strip but caffeine? What if gum but caffeine? Rev gum. Interesting. I have lip balm. They have, do you need, okay, question for everyone. Question for everyone. Do you need six individually packaged bottles of olive oil? Because this store gotcha. This store gotcha. It gotcha. <laughs> do you needed individual small little things of olive oil? They gotcha. <laughs> You've been looking for six. See, I need seven unfortunately, and I don't want to buy two. All right, I think in terms of the, the, the dessert, that this, all right, Kira just sent something. Let me, let me take a look so I can properly thank Kira. I think it was Kira. Sure, checking for the new mails. Olive oil from the airport, right? Isn't that so weird? Pocket olive oil, or pocket oil, as I like to say. Olive oil, pocket oil, pocket. Po ah. All right. Wait, did, it didn't get. Did it get delayed again? Yep, Kira, you there? Kira sent twenty dollars for airport shenanigans. Thank you, Kira. That is very sweet of you. That is so nice. Am I saying your night wrong? Your name right? Because I know there's Kira, and then there's. You could also say Sierra. Let me make sure that nothing got delayed again. 11.02. Yeah, that's 2 p.m. Thank you, Kira. Yes, it's that Kira. I, 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 I was like 99% sure that it was that Kira. Okay. I think this is, this is the dessert. Um, and I do also think that I want the cool mom hat. I just can't imagine getting something that isn't the cool mom hat you know what i mean like what is the point if i don't get the cool mom hat right like what like what is even what are we doing here what are we even doing here if it's not getting the cool mom hat um so
I didn't look at the price. So first we're gonna first we're gonna do self checkout here. Hi. Can we see it? Yeah, yeah. We'll go back really quick. It's on. We have to walk a little bit further. The oops one. Oops one. What do you mean oops? Show me the hat. Okay, we'll show mom the hat. Is there a jackhammer in here? And y'all, am I good? The flavor is not good, really? Well, we're gonna find out. It's only $11, so, you know, uh, pay now. Okay, I'm good, that's good. Hey, Gina. Uh, zero bags, none. Uh, pay with credit. Only $11 for a bag of popcorn, no problem. Only, it's only 11 for a bag of popcorn. All right, we'll eat, we'll eat this at the end. We'll eat this at the end. I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be exactly what we think it's going to be, which is okay popcorn with M&Ms. All right. Let's put my purse or put my wallet back away. Yes, eleven dollars. <laughs> Filled to the rim. It's not. It's like half. Am I going to Staten Island? All right, here we go. We're gonna go back for that. Off we go. Airport pro. I mean, yeah. No, who's surprised? No one can be surprised by that. We're in an airport. It's a specialty bag of M&M popcorn. Of course, they're going to charge you eleven dollars. Am I going to Coney Island? No. Typically, the thing is when my family travels, we don't do a lot of stuff. We just hang out and eat food. Like you can imagine this stream just with three other people. That's kind of what we do. <laughs> we just hang. Statue of Liberty? No, no, we wouldn't do that. Like, nothing against the Statue of Liberty, but we're not into the touristy things. We just go to restaurants, do the occasional, like, seeing of a show. So we're going to do that this time, but even that's, like, a bit of a stretch. Who's taking care of Nugget? Nugget has a house sitter, or a, uh, an apartment sitter. And I will be streaming. Yes, I will be streaming once I'm there. Oh, we're just, we have an extra long stream here because of, um... Plane delays. This is my family. We're just all meeting there. None of us live there. It's a Tim Burton restaurant? Is it really? That's weird. Seventh Street Smash Burger. Interesting. Yeah, Nugget. I mean, I miss Nugget already. But it's a good apartment. This person is nice, so I'm not worried. Thank you, Katie. Well, not, no layover. We're just uh, in the San Francisco airport. Me too, Candy. Me too. Oh, I'm excited for this hat. There's also the Book of Sharks. I think I'm more excited about Cool Mom. Because I am a cool mom. <laughs> it's also bedazzled. It like so goes with my style. In the cheesiest possible way. Five hour layover in New York. Oof. Boston at some hotel where they have a dessert buffet? That sounds fun. Junior's Cheesecake? What is that? Ruth's Chris? I must model this hat. I will. We'll go. What we'll do is we'll buy the hat, then we'll go back to where we just were, which is closer to my gate. We'll put on the hat and we'll try the popcorn. Okay? I've been to the meatball shop. I have been to the meatball shop. It's been a while, but I've been. What do we think the hat costs? That it's $30. That's my guess. It seems like it's probably a stupid amount of money for this hat. 45. It's also from like a fancy store in the airport. Okay, it might cut out a little bit while I'm in there. Maybe. 
there's still nobody working here. So that that's the major question is, there's nobody here. The store is monitored by loss prevention. If you need assistance, please go next door. Okay. Hi there. Do I buy things from next door here? And I buy, okay, got it, thank you. I have an idea, yeah. Okay, I'll just bring it there, thank you. All right. It was actually my alarm. <laughs> okay. So am I am I glitchy? Am I good? This is the hat. This is the hat. Now this hat, we've recently learned, is $38. Oh my god. It's not even their alarm, it's my keys. Oh my god. No, stop it. I'm sorry. It was mine. Not even theirs. It was mine. Seriously. Now, $38. Are we down to spend $38? Hi. For this hat? I'm not sure if I want to spend $38. I'm thinking about it. Oh, I, I agree that this is a... I know, it seems so... Per, per, is there any... Is, this isn't on sale, is it? For $38? No, okay. You're right. I can use it for the rest of my life. It is true. I'm, I'm asking some of my friends really quick. I'll put it back if I, if I don't get it, though. What do we think? Should we, we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. Smile if we want to spend $38 on this cool mom hat. Frown if no. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's just too much, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and put it back. <laughs> we tried. We tried. It's too much. What do you say we eat some popcorn? How about that? Or we can look in the bookstore really quick. Yeah, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. It's not worth it. It would have been worth $20, not $38. Oh, it smells like a bookstore. We're going to look around this bookstore. For, oh, we're good. Okay, I cut out for a second, but I'm back now. I'm seeing some keychains, seeing some mugs, I'm seeing coloring books. Ooh, okay. The thing is that I don't have pencils. Hi. Kids books. YA books. Staff recommendation. Ooh, graphic novels. I got graphic novels. So true. Interesting. Anime? They have manga? No magazine. Oh, no, they're the magazines. Rolling Stone, Vogue. All 
All right, let's go eat some popcorn. Oh, hold on. Deck of cards. Agatha Christie playing cards. That's kind of fun. Gothic romance coloring book. That's kind of fun. There's a puzzle. What about crosswords? Okay. Now oh, here's the thing. Here's my thing about crosswords. I'm not good at them, but I like the idea of a crossword. And I feel like I needed like a millennial crossword puzzle. Like, hey, these are all crosswords that you, Lily, might know. Right? Not, not like, you know what I mean? Nah, I'd prefer crossword over Sudoku. I mean, I see New York Times crossword. Is there like crosswords for people under the age of 50? <laughs> Ooh, they have a Wordle. Extreme Wordle challenge? Okay, I'm listening. Wait, how does this work? Wait, how does this work? 500 puzzles. Do you find normal Wordle too easy? But like, it's already done. I don't understand. So wait, do they have, okay, I guess you have to like, right? I kind of like it though. How much is it? $13? Sure. That's, that's kind of fun. I, I, I guess I see it's just, it's like not exactly Wordle. It's slightly different. Cheerful Sunday crosswords. I kind of want crosswords over Wordle, but I will get Wordle. It does be $38, you're right. Medium crossword puzzles, tough crossword puzzles. He's a ride or die. Yeah, he kind of is. Word search puzzles. I'm looking for like the easy ones. Catan puzzle book? What? Brain teasers? Brilliant brain teasers. Excuses to keep your mind sharp. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that's like an SAT book. Absolutely not. Scrabble dictionary, Sudoku, 150 puzzles, Myrtle? What the heck is Myrtle? 100 elementary to impossible mysteries to solve. It's like Wordle, but with murder. What? Okay, it's just like brain teasers. But all, it's like true crime themed things. Nah. Hunt a killer, Sudoku and chill. I mean, I kind of like the idea of, okay. Crosswords, what would you rather do? Crosswords or Wordle? I feel like Wordle I'd be better at. Myrtle would have you. It's 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 like a crossword. They're both crosswords slightly more expensive, but not that much. So Wordle is you know what Wordle is? Wordle? And this is the extreme Wordle. I feel like it'd be better at Wordle. We'll do we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. Okay, here, let, let me show you first, so you can know. This is the Myrtle, or Wordle. So you get like some hints, and you have to use that to figure out the word. I don't know why they print the keyboard there. That seems useless, but you know, I don't know why they print it. 
it's to make it feel more like Wordle. <gasps> is Wendy? Oh my God, Wendy, what's up, girl? And then this is the crosswords. Okay, what, what should we do? We'll do smile for the Wordle. Okay, we're gonna end this text poll really quickly. Okay, smile for Wordle, frown for crossword. We'll do them together too. They're both about the same. One's 13, one's 15. Smile for Wordle, frown for crossword. <gasps> Okay, we'll do Wordle. I think I'm better at Wordle anyways, so we'll do that. Okay, that's our silly purchase. We're good. Let's go buy it. And this is the cheaper one too, so. All right. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Sorry. Are you going to take that card? Uh, card, please. Oh. There you go. Oh, it's only nine ninety nine. That's good. Yeah. More entertainment can come from the world. That's true. That is true. That is very true. I, I could probably do be pretty. I'm pretty good at Wordle. I think. I'm better at Wordle than the crossword, that's for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Off we go to the gate. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad. Ma, that's great. Glad that I could be helpful. All right, we've got our popcorn, we've got our Wordle, and now we are gonna go chill at the gate. Do I have a pen or a pencil? Ooh, good question. No, I don't. I don't. I do not have those things. But I have a feeling I can find one. I'm resourceful. I'm resourceful. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask, yeah, we'll go up to the front and be like, hey, a pencil will be $10. No, I think we can get one for free, is my think thinking. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Yeah. Did you get an upgrade? No, and we're not going to worry too hard about an upgrade either. Because I have a pretty good seat as is. Yeah, exactly, Fiona, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it was delayed. Flash a smile at the gate. I, I feel like that's probably as much as you need to do. Flash a smile. I don't even know if I would need to. I will flash a smile, but I don't know if I need to, you know? I could just say, like, hi, could I have a pen, please? And they'd be like, yeah, okay, thank you. I'd be like, thank you. I oh, thank you. Hi, Don. Hello. Oh, sour punch straws. I do love sour punch straws. How tall am I? How tall do you think I am? Pens with erasers. Dang. I mean, the other thing is, like, we don't need, I guess it would be nice to have one, but we could probably figure out the answer without even, a pen, without even having a pen. There's some of you are right. I'm six foot. Five twelve, if you will. Although I will say, I met D Daddy Dakota in person and he was like, thought I didn't, that, that I was taller than he thought I would be. Yeah, I say that right? I was taller than he thought I would, yeah, yeah. Hi Amanda. 
What do you do to get out of funks? Honestly, if I had the answer to that, if you figure it out, let me know. I'm sorry you're in a funk. Excuse me. Do you have a pen I could use? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Is it okay if I keep it or do you need it back? You need it back. Okay. I should have asked that to start with. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I need a pen to keep, unfortunately. I, how much is a pen? Four bucks? Uh, Two dollars for? Oh, I, I think I'm okay. I bet I can find one without paying for it. Thank you, though. Knew it. You got it. You got it. Don't worry. We can find a free pen. We can find a free pen. I have a feeling we can find a free pen. I'm not worried about it. I was going to say, come back and say you need a new Yeah. <laughs> I know. She needed the pen back. Excuse me. It's like a couple of flights are just getting off. Oh, sorry. No. Sorry, I'm just trying to navigate this crowd right now. For some reason, very crowded in this terminal. You know who has pens? Excuse me. I have it. I have an idea. Servers have pens. Exactly. Exactly. Tori McKenzie. Servers have pens. Atsu has pens. Thank you, Lauren. Lauren just paid for your pen? Well, I... Well, I appreciate roses. Roses are about a half a penny per rose. And it's less about how much it costs and more about, um, I'm not gonna pay for a pen. Okay. Get one in front, one of the gates. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, no, all you, all you. I love your bag. The Kate Spade, the Kate Spade for sure. I see that. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? We already had lunch loading. Now we're just walking around, and I we are on the hunt for a pen right now. That is that is the goal is to find a pen. Hi, Miss Nina C. Goal numero uno. The gates might have them, yeah. We're getting there, don't worry. We got plenty of time, y'all. We're just chilling. Okay, here we go. Excuse me, do you have, do you have a pen that you might be able to part with? Okay. A pen? 
that potentially you might not need back. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. See, a little bit of patience. I just want to show off my pen really quick. Now, you know. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got a pen. Honestly, I've never, I have never been this excited about a pen. Ever. Ever in my life have I been this excited about a pen. We are so cool. All right. All right, we're at the gate. Let's find a place to sit down. That's a good place to sit. Somewhere close, but not too close. You know what I mean? In sight, but not that in sight. All right, here's probably close enough. <sighs> Huge. <laughs> so monumental this pen thank you go school all right should we try this popcorn this lady is having a laugh attack <laughs> having a good day i was feeling she had a few drinks on her plane i'm gonna put this here all right there we go you'd laugh if the pen was dead i sure hope it's not Right here. She was not crying, she was laughing. Candy pop. M&M's. About to figure it out. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it going to make me sad? Is it crunchy? Is it munchy? Smells good. I'm hopeful. I mean, so chocolate coated. Um, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. I'm not upset about it. It's pretty good, actually. Took me a second. The popcorn is not crunchy. It's a little bit crunchy. It's more smushy than anything. Mm, good. It's it is a little bit boring, but like, what do you expect? It's M and M's and popcorn. I guess I was expecting the popcorn to be a little bit more of a thing. But it's like pretty light and airy, which I guess is good. Chocolate's good. Hey, when I get my mom over there. Well, it's like, I like pumpkin that's like, there's substance to it. You know, it's like crunchy and this is very light popcorn. The chocolate is melted on the popcorn and that's a good thing. It's a good mix of flavors. I fell asleep watching Alive and Had a Dream, nice. My mom found the Twix. Now the Twix kind of sounds good. I mean, look, if we're being honest, what we really need is the Reese's version of this. Not what we really need. What we really need. I prefer this one over like an Oreo one for sure. I don't have Nugget, no. Nugget's at home. He's got a dog sitter. Makes a bag of M&M and Pago. Yeah, yeah. I check my pen. No, we'll, we'll check it real quick. There we go. Moment of truth. It was in use when they gave it to me. Like it was on the counter as to suggest it was going to be used. But here we go. We'll try it together. Hey, it worked. It worked. 
Thank you, Tori. Did you say that your style is like a pinup girl? I've been compared to that before, but I would say it's more just like late 90s, early 2000s. More than anything. Thank you. Okay, go. What's Katie's style? I think Katie, Katie, I actually asked her once. She said Futch. So in between feminine and butch, Futch, which is a thing. Chris jeans, Converse. She had like a long shirt of some kind. Yep, Futch. Oops. How fun would it be if we were all together? I know, I know. Ooh, there's an M&M. And goodbye. This is actually growing on me. I like this. I like this. No problem. Yeah, I hear you, Witchy. I wonder if... Is there anyone watching who's at who's at SFL right now? This is Eminem Upland. Is there a sensory room? There is a yoga room, but not like that. Nice try. Get that house clean. Scrub that floor. Swiffer that tile. You can't handle the way I opened it. I'm sorry. Navarro. <laughs> they sell it like that. Look, like I said, I'm the kind of person who is licking the butter knife, cleaning the plate, and ripping a popcorn bag open with reckless abandon. If you love me, you gotta love the whole me. And that includes how I open my popcorn bags. I am Deb from Napoleon Dynamite. Thank you for asking. I was at the airport from 4 to 11 a.m. Oh, the worst. Um, another hour and a half till we take off, but, you know, we'll see how long we want to stream for. Sick in bed for two weeks? With what? What were you sick with, Poppy? Yeah, I'm going to New York City. I have chocolate on my shirt. Turbulence today? I don't know. I did get the popcorn, yes. Thankfully, no layover. Thank God. I couldn't do this with a layover. I do not like layovers. What's on your bucket list for? Scale of 1 to 10. It's like a 6. It's what I need right now. Which is stupid sweet food. Hi, Kelly. Yes, we're eating popcorn. Mm -mm -mm. Turbulence at Newark? Oh. The flight is six hours long. Six hours. Thank you, Bam. This is our dessert, yeah. Mmm. Stay French. This is a good conversation. Go to drink on a plane, specifically. It's not going to surprise you that it's either going to be a, you, Anakin, a Diet Coke, a coffee. I like a tomato juice sometimes. I think tomato juice is the one that's like, I would never have any time else. Might as well drive there? Are you sure, Portlander? Because if I drove there, I wouldn't be there until, like, next week. <laughs> it would be five days to drive there. Five. It takes five days to drive across the country. I know this because I've done it. 
Ginger ale is good. I like ginger ale. I did it in five. I drove like eight to ten hours a day, and I did it in five. Yeah. It was like four and a half, but yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Poppy. The flight is six hours, so much better than a five-day or four-and-a-half-day drive. Ginger ale. Yeah, I think ginger ale is a really... That would be like my fourth option. I did not get first class. Um, nor do I think they would give it to me. I'm going to visit my parents, but how much money for the upgrade is $1,100. I'm not paying $1,100 to upgrade my flight. I would get a bed, but it's not worth $1,100 for me. Maybe one day when I'm in a better financial position, but yes, my hair is naturally curly. Oh, I'm sorry, Hannah. I'm sure you'll pick yourself right back up. The flight was supposed to be this morning. Ginger beer is good, too. I like ginger beer. I think ginger beer is always going to be better than ginger ale. It's just harder to get. All right, this popcorn is very messy. Or am I the messy one? I think I'm the messy one. From North Carolina to California in a day and a half. That sounds deeply unsafe. Do you do it nonstop? Because that's crazy. Thank you, Aramars. Cranberry ginger ale. Thank you, Poppy. Like, even if you drive nonstop, just stopping for gas a day and a half is like kind of crazy. Why would they not give me first class? Because it normally costs $1,100 and they want someone to pay for it. I mean, I'll go ask, but. I cannot imagine they will give it to me. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Vic. Ooh, we're getting to the M and M bits at the bottom. Thank you, Wolfman. I appreciate that. Yeah, I drove. From Atlanta to California in four and a half days with my dog. Just me and my dog. Not Nugget. My dog at the time was Finn. We did it. It was a crazy drive. MG convertible, 10 hours, barely enough money. Well, wow. Uh, we're traveling to New York City to see my family. Kansas to Phoenix in one day. Wow. I actually like unpot kernels. I like a little bit of crunch. All right. This popcorn is going to put me to sleep. It's so sugary. Dog. Uh, what kind of dog was Finn? He was like a terrier dachshund. About 20 pounds. He's a good boy. SFO to JFK. Yeah. I appreciate that, Gen Z. All right. Um, cool. Well, I think I'm going to go ask about the upgrade and be like, hey, um, any discounts on that? Do y'all want to come with me? There's no way they're going to say yes, right? Right? There's just no way. We'll go ask. I'm going to throw out my popcorn on the way because I can't eat anymore. All right, we're going to ask. I for cheesy. 
Hey. Hi. Pretty free. Uh, are there any upgrades available? Uh, paid upgrades? What's your last name? C O N T I N O. This one? Lily. You know, 2564? You know, well, 2564? To JFK, yeah. 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 Comfort Plus right now. Mm hmm. It's $1,180. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no last minute discounts on that one? Unfortunately, I don't handle the price. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for checking. I appreciate it. We tried. See? We tried. <sighs> yeah, we tried. Right? Isn't that so crazy? Even he was like, ooh, 1100 <laughs> It's too much. Ask once I boarded the plane. I don't know if that's a... I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, everyone in here sent $2. No, it's okay. It's um, going to visit friends. Um, oh, well, thank you, Gen Z. Uh, no, I'm going to visit my family. Oh, we're all meeting up in New York. None of us live in New York, but we're meeting there. Oh, no. <laughs> Filming it in first class? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think... There are better things to spend $1,100 on, you know? It's six hours that I could have in a bed or sitting up. Of course, I'd rather have it in a bed, but for $1,100, it's just not. It's just not worth it. Where's Nugget? Nugget's at home. He's got a dog sitter. Is there a place in New York City you're looking forward to eating? Um, I don't have any plans yet. I'm going to probably play that by ear. The upgrade is $1,100, $1,100, Adam. I know, they do have a yoga room. We actually briefly stopped by there. There's people in there doing yoga. Got lots of leg room. Yeah, it's good leg room. It's good leg room. I know, right, Sarah? Isn't that wild? Wild. Yeah, I have Comfort Plus. That is that is something I was willing to splurge on, but um, no, not Comfort, not, not First Class. Empanada Mama in Hell's Kitchen. Okay. You think so, Adam. You think. But what are you going to do? How long? I'm going to be in New York for three days? Wednesday. Whatever is left of today once I'm there. So Thursday, Friday, and I leave on Saturday. So like two or three days. Two full days and one half day. Aren't I tall? I am six foot tall. Six foot tall. How long ago was the bagel? The bagel was two hours ago? An hour and a half, two hours? Am I going to be live while I'm there? Yeah, a couple times. I think I'll, I'll be live tomorrow and Friday. Not sure for how long though. I'm going to New York to visit my family. Austeria Academia. Okay. Five, three. Yeah, I feel that. It is fun. I like going live. Today's been a fun stream, honestly. I really haven't felt the time so much because of y'all. So thank you. That popcorn is now kind of letting me know that it was too much sugar. It's okay. feel like I, I do feel that for Sheezy and not in a bad way. Hi Victoria. How's it going? Popcorn was alright. You've been sick. Uh, are you feeling better now? I hope you're feeling better. Why only the cake pops? Well typically I'll get a coffee when I'm at Starbucks as well. Trent to cold brew.
Thank you, Laurie. Time to get a coffee. No, I don't need any more caffeine before I get on the plane. I'm glad, Victoria. Hello from Myrtle Beach. Hi. Hi, Jaque. No, not Jaque. Jackie. I know someone who spells it in, like that and says Jaque, but you're probably Jackie, aren't you? Do you like Monster High dolls? I, I'm only vaguely even familiar with what Monster High is. They're like Bratz dolls, right? I think Ashlyn likes those, right? Or maybe that's Bratz. I don't know. That's Jackie. Got it. Hello. Hi from Sweden. Hello. My name was Jacqueline. Got it. Now it's Jackie. Am I a window seat person? Oh, no, 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 no. I am an aisle seat person in a big way. I do not like being trapped. I, I want to be able to stand up. I want to be able to stretch into the aisle. If I need to go to the bathroom. I don't want to inconvenience people. Aisle all the way. Exactly. Alexandra and 100 Hobbies. Yeah, I'll see it all the way. I don't understand window seat people. Like, there's two people between you and moving, which is just anxiety. You get more room in the aisle, it's true. The flight is six hours long. Six hours long. School has been crazy. I feel that. I haven't been to school in a long time, but I can imagine if you're going back that it is crazy. Uh, Wi-Fi on the plane, probably, but not streamable Wi-Fi. I cannot imagine. Stream anxiety and claustrophobia. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Have I watched The New Little Mermaid? I saw a clip from it, and it gave me the creeps. It looked so weird. Just like the animation looks so uncanny valley. I also just don't particularly care for any of the Disney remakes, but it was just like uncanny valley. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks real, but not real enough. Why am I going for such a short time? I'm just going to hang out with my family for a few days. Good afternoon, Renee. You too. Or you're not going anywhere, are you? You're honestly giving. Thank you. In theory, the flight's in an hour. Well, I guess we'll be boarding relatively soon, but who knows? Well, well, not me going back to school with my girls. We always have dinner with you. Oh, that's so sweet. Are you having, you're not having dinner now, are you? Too early for dinner. I guess it depends on where you are. Where does the rest of my family live? My brother lives in North Virginia and my parents live in North Carolina. Comfort Plus has priority boarding. You think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, that's cool, Renee. Airports exhaust me. Yeah, I feel that. What type of products do I use? Uh, Paul Mitchell, mostly. All right. Um, I, think, I think it's time call this one i need to go to the bathroom probably grab some water before i head out um yeah i will see y'all tomorrow i don't know when i have no idea when i will keep you posted though okay i'll take a look gents thank you i love y'all thank you again for hanging out thank you to everyone who contributed to make this a financially uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My brain just completely gave out. Viable, doable stream for me. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, that's exactly the word. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Dee. I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow.